Twitter user Pierco is working on an FPGA recreation of the Apple II GS. He hopes to have a Mr. Core come out of this project. At the moment, he has the CPU boot sequence complete. The Apple II GS was the most powerful of the Apple II line of computers. It featured more advanced graphics and sound and was the first personal computer with a wavetable synthesis sound chip. The games that ran on the Apple II GS both looked and sounded great. It's a computer I've always wanted to use and would be a great addition to the Mr. FPGA project. GunCon 2 and 3 drivers have officially been added. Previously, you had to download a separate driver from the developer's GitHub in order to get them working. That had the side effect of disabling some of the wireless features of Mr. Now, owners of GunCon 2 and 3 light guns can just update their Mr. and be able to configure and use the peripherals. GunCon 2 only works with CRTs and will not work on modern flat panel televisions. However, GunCon 3 will work with modern flat panels. The PlayStation Core is getting close to an official release. Like I reported last week, all there needs to be done are some bug fixes. You can still try out the unstable nightly build of the Core if you don't want to wait until it officially arrives on Mr. Check out my video that shows you how to obtain those builds. Anyway, some bug fixes that have been done this week. A game had wrong texture colors showing. And the CD subsystem has been improved. Games affected are Nova Storm, which used to hang before, and Gex, which had full motion video that would be skipped. A couple of weeks ago, core developer Hotego had released a beta core for the arcade game Hypersports. Now he's traveled back in time and released a beta core to his Patreon subscriber or its predecessor, Track and Field. As with all his cores, he first releases them in beta form privately to his Patreon subscribers. As soon as they are stable enough, they are released to the public. So, if you want early access to this core, consider supporting his Patreon. Track and Field is an arcade Olympic sports game. The events featured in the game are the 100 meter dash, long jump, javelin throw, 100 meter hurdles, hammer throw, and high jump. It was really easy to play and mostly consisted of you quickly pressing alternating buttons to control the player's run speed. User Wizzo on the Mr. FPGA forums has released a script that runs a background music player for Mr. It will play music while you navigate the main menu but stop once you load a core. If you return back to the main menu, then music will resume. The script will create a new folder on your Mr. called Music and you can copy mp3 or og files to it. Upon booting your mister, the script will randomly play files stored on the music folder. I can see myself using this script to play random chip 2 music while browsing menus, play music related to a custom wallpaper I said, or maybe have some ambient arcade noise play. The script also gives you the option to play an audio file upon boot up. Want to use the Windows XP boot up sound? Go ahead. Saturn boot up sound? Why not? On the Mr. FPGA forum post, someone posted a link with boot sounds from different computers and consoles you can use. This script seems like a cool way to personalize your Mr. There's been more progress done on the next 186 core. The conversion for the Mist project is done and the core is currently compiling. There's no video output yet, but the core is running. The next step is to debug the startup of the core. Things are also looking good for adding more features to the core because at this moment, FPGA utilization is at 33%. The next 186 is an FPGA core for older PC hardware based on an 8086, 186, and 286 PC. It's also possible to get some 386 software running too. Consider supporting the developer Jason A on his Kofi page. An open source JAMA board has been announced by Raf Friend on Twitter. Called the JAMA Himitsu, it offers features like OC inputs at 1000 Hz, which gives you less than 1 milliseconds of input lag, an additional header for player 1 and 2 based on the brook hardness, GPIO free, and 100% do it yourself. The board isn't public yet, but you can follow the project on the developer's Twitter account or their Discord. Mr. Adams has given an update on his Mr. Express consoleized IO board and case for the Mr. FPGA. It's another option for you to choose how your Mr. looks like. Notable features are, it's powered by USB-C, RGB lighting, an IR receiver, 
and lots more. Check out the video on his YouTube channel for the update and also check out his website for more information. Wireframe Magazine has an article dedicated to the Mr. Project. It explains what the Mr. Project is, a little about his history, what it's capable of, and more. You even get some insight in the effort that's put towards developing cores. They talk about all the extra hours Hotego puts into core development during his free time. You can read the article for free on the website or download a PDF. You can also support the magazine by purchasing a subscription. They produce a lot of great tech-related content and also frequently cover retro gaming. And other miscellaneous Mr. Fixes and updates are, some updates to the main Linux and the menu system have been made. Additions include, like I mentioned earlier, GunCon 2 and 3 drivers, a driver to allow Wi-Fi region change, Xbox wireless dongle support with preliminary chat pad support, tweaks to controller rumble support, MIDI pass-through for user I.O. to use an MT32 Pi from Linux, switch update to downloader script, and various other fixes and tweaks. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro-related content and if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.